Welcome to Psychology Daily. We continue on developmental psychology and today we will delve into the topic of long-lasting debates of nature and nurture and their contribution on who we are. In 2014 was published meta-analysis of relative contribution of our genes and environment on personality traits. Daniel Brealy and Elliot Tucker Drop from University of Texas at Austin were interested in the relative contribution of our genes and environment to personal traits and how this contribution is changed during the lifespan. Let me begin with a simple explanation of how it is possible to evaluate the relative contribution of genes and environment to personality traits. To do so, scientists analyze the personality traits of four siblings types. Monozygotic twins who share 100% genes, dizygotic twins who share 50% genes, Half siblings, those who have one parent in common and who share 25% of genes, and biologically unrelated siblings who share 0% of genes. Moreover, to specify environmental contribution, in their sample were siblings that were reared together and some are not. In the current paper, monozygotic and dizygotic twins were studied in such manner. Because of stable contribution of genes in those types of siblings, it is possible to evaluate the relative contribution of the environment. Moreover, they used results of longitude studies when the same pairs of siblings were assessed for personality traits on two or more occasions and they were focused on how this relative contribution changing during the lifespan. They compared the test for testability of siblings and the estimated contribution of genetic and environmental factors on this stability. Their results was that roughly half of variance in personality on average can be attributed to genes and half to the environment. However, there were significant age trends across the lifespan. Near birth genetic influence account for nearly 70% of the variation in personality and the environment only accounts for 30% of the variation. However, genetic effects decrease in magnitude while environmental effects increase across early childhood. Following age 15, relatively small but significant changes occur in genetic and environmental effects. Trade stability increased monotonically until age 30 with a possible stall in early childhood. Genetic stability increased from moderate in infancy to near perfect by age 30 and remained near perfect across adulthood. Environmental stability, in contrast, displayed almost complete instability in childhood but increased to about half as stable as genetic influence by adolescents. Those results clearly state that both nature and nurture influence on our personality. However, in early childhood, the genetic contribution is higher and somewhat less stable than in early adulthood. On the contrary, early childhood characterized by low environmental contribution and total instability with an increase of contribution and stability over the whole lifespan. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you tomorrow.